This is the second year of the race. Last was won by Bo Bommy Bulldog. We had 17 runners. This year we have over 50 runners. It was basically thought in a pub one evening. We thought we'd like to get some mascots here to have a go at racing our mascot, Hugo the Hound. My tip for the day is Ronnie Rhino from the Leeds Rugby League Club. I think he's well up for it. He's done a lot of stretching already today. He's quite serious about the whole thing. I think last year's winner will be difficult to beat, Bo Brummy. What makes a good mascot for this type of challenge? Uh, you've, got to get, you've got to be early speed, good early speed. You've got to get out because there'll be a lot of trouble at the first fence. Um, and you've got, to, you've got to have a lot of vision um, in order to meander your way through the, through the other mascots. It is a bit different from the normal commentaries because in the normal commentaries you have things like sort of jockey's colours which you can go on. Here I've got to say the swan's in front from the lion and then comes whatever it is. I mean, look, look at it. I mean, it, it, it's crazy. That's them warming up. I mean, it, it, that's 51 runners. I've never done a race with 51 runners. And also the, the, the fences in the Grand National are not very wide. I can see a lot of bumping and boring. I think we could have a steward's inquiry and we might have mayhem at the first. You remember the Grand National of 67? Everything fell. Fine Haven came through. The same could happen today. What's the going like today for this race? The going, the going is officially good to firm. That has no bearing at all on the outcome. And if you see a few of these two, uh, actually, it could be rather. That, is that a duck or a swan out there? I, I don't ask me. And I'm the commentator, so what chance has anybody got? <laughs> Number 15. This way. Yeah. 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 